So at the end of the uh, last session, we uh, we ended it in mid battle uh, with the Skull Lord uh, kind of facing uh, the center, um, kind of paying attention um, to what Thongram was doing as he's clamoring up and dealing with the. Uh, the crystal at the top of the phoenix statue um everything else is kind of going to hell all around y'all um i think that about sums it up is there anything you that you guys have uh have in mind no that sounds about right all right so uh, to remind myself the pink dots are the folks who have been succumbed by the hypnotic pattern and they are they are charmed, they are incapacitated, can't do anything until somebody either they either take damage or are forcefully woken. Correct? Correct. Okay. Alright, and one more second, because now I've realized that I don't have any of my character sheets open. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't see how that's going to happen, but hey, stranger things have happened, I suppose. Um All right. So, uh, that said, um we are at the uh we are at the top of the uh Top the heap here, top of the, the uh, whatever we call this thing, initiative. Uh, and we are um, the, the Skull Lord, the uh, Bane Incarnate, uh, looks at you uh, and is kind of, kind of getting the idea of what's happening here. Um, and he is going to get this up feedback from myself again. Sounds like it from yeah. last time. All right. Okay, so he is going to cast... Um, actually, what is he going to do? He's going to uh, look up at um i'm unsure of myself okay so he is going to do something else he is going to uh turn around and he is going to uh raise his hand and cast um a particular area of effect spell Okay, so this 20-foot radius um, uh, thing of yellowish-green fog is going to be cast. All right, let me get... How did we do this last time? We used the spiritual weapon? Yes. Yeah, I had the second one. It's down in the bottom right corner. Is 
just a, need to be a sphere. Yes. You got it. All right. So, and it's going to be centered at. I'll 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 choose the point in just a second. I need to reread the spell that I just posted there. Twenty foot there spreads around corners. Duration is that. Uh, do, 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 uh, constitution saving throw or five uh, d8, and then it moves away ten feet at the start of each turn. Okay, so I want it to be right about there. Okay, so he uh, raises his his bony fingers and out of and points at y'all's general's direction and this gaseous fog cloud uh, kind of envelops in this 20-foot sphere uh, pushing the, your direction and everybody in there needs to make a constitution saving throw Priest fails. Nope, Dongrim, you're good. You're you're good. You're not impacted by it. Um, okay, so um, half as much damage on a successful one, so that's going to be five d eight. So twenty damage. And then the priest should wake up from that. And this cloud is going to move uh, at the top of every round. Uh, that said, um, I believe that is, he's going to move. He's going to move up a little bit. And Corin, that is, uh, you're up. Yeah, it looks like Con Raz lost concentration, so they're both awake. Okay. So wow. We're starting our rolls off and like we were. Yeah, well, okay. yeah, you're continuing they the... Roles, they don't have to make those rolls until the beginning of their turn. All right. Well, yeah, that is true. So that is, was that yours or was that Raz? Oh, no, Raz had to do one because he took I, damage mine, for mine constitution. Yes, but... The, the oh yeah, so Raz has not been damaged yet. Right. Damage resolves at the beginning of a turn, or when you move into it if, during a turn. Oh, okay. So we've we went ahead and just we started it already. Whoops. Not that it's gonna matter. I mean, yeah. Corin was next, so he's yeah. he was gonna. Oh, so now was it wisdom for spirit guard? Uh, shoot. I, I believe it is. Um, yes, it is a wisdom saving throw, and I believe who cast it? It was the priest. I think it's a 14. Uh, I made it. 19 yes. makes it. Yes. I still take half damage. Okay, well then let me roll it again. So nine. That's a max roll. It's not, it's 3d8. All right, so you. So it's. That's a nine. to stab at that uh, priest next to me. I think, I don't think I have anything really better to do. Okay. Well, he's sitting there looking at you menacingly with all of these fiends dancing around him like, come on, man. Yep, that's all I can really do. So, rapier it is. 
That is a hit. Seven whole damage. And, and, and he saves. Okay, and then I'm going to move actuality. Yeah, so that gets me out of it. And it's going to move from here to here, right? Uh, yeah, that's the, I believe that's the trajectory. It said 10 feet, so yeah. So I will go ahead and just, let's see, that's only, that's 15. Hold on, I'm going to do this differently. I'm going to move. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, and then bonus action dash down to there, and he is done. Okay. Doug waking up from his uh, his um, stupor um, sees the the cloud um, and it's going to let's see he's got 30 5 10 nope he's not doing that because he's still kind of afraid of that guy so 5 10 15, 20 25. No, what the hell would he do? Um, five, ten, fifteen. Um, he's going to move up and seeing what's happening up there, attempt to uh, s shoot uh, Thongram with his uh, crossbow. That is an eighteen, which I think is a. I should have. Well, you've got a your AC seventeen, and you're currently you're raging, right? Raging doesn't affect his AC. Oh, okay. So five. Yep, five piercing, and you are not actively uh, holding on to anything, so you are just kind of firmly planted your feet on top of that statue. All right. <laughs> Quinn fails his uh, saving uh, death saving throw, and that brings us to Raziel. Okay, so he failed his saving throw, so he's down the six. And then he's got to do a wisdom saving throw. So he's dead. Possibly. Unless you roll five or lower. Yeah, he's dead. Okay. Yeah, you'd need to do triple ones and then triple fives or something. Triple <laughs> quadruple or quintuple fives or something like that. That's a 3d8. He would have had to. He had room for two twos in there. Oh, had he already taken the other damage? He had 26 hit points, so 20 from Cloud Kill and yeah. 21 from that. Oh. All right, so he's down. Eldon, you are up, and Thongrim is on deck. All right, so I have to do a wisdom saving throw. Correct. Correct. Yeah, I quit. I roll a one on my saving throw. That's okay, Raz rolled two ones on his. 
Maybe so, maybe you got all those rolls out of the way. Not likely. Not the way it's been in the past. Okay, the, yeah, this this <laughs> battle has been bad for you guys. Um, let's see. Where is that lead? Raz is looking like a lost cause. And what's the distance? I'm not concentrating on anything right now, am I? I don't think so. Sorry, um, <clears throat> I had something else in mind, but that's been totally squashed. Um, As I said, that's thirty feet. I was it hit the wrong button on. Oh, you were just uh, up aired it. Yeah. No, that was. Yeah. Um, it, I was going to do what we were talking about before, but I don't know if that's worth it now. If it's just a benefit to you and me. Well, actually, no, it, it keeps him for, around for a round, right? Until he wakes up and dies again. Yeah, essentially, right? But um, I guess I got to move forward with that. So um, let's see. I need to... Um, you can't get to him, though, because you can't move 30 feet. Yeah, I can't. There's no way I can move it from within the, the Guardians unless I can... Oh, you can't move. You can't. You you only move 25 feet. He's 60 away. Or 60. Yeah. Oh, he is in 60 right now. I mean. You have to dash to get out of that. Yeah, not likely. I need to. Anyway, okay, so... Um, let's see. First thing is to stabity stab him, uh, the guy standing next to me. Hopefully okay. that'll knock down the guardians. So, or if I can hit him, so that is a hit. And uh, so that's uh, that's a hit. And I don't know if the the damage is on there. I get an extra D eight for damage. What do you? Whose constitution is it? That's his. Con uh, oh. Assuming that you don't kill him, but is it just six or is it more? I have a divine, whatever majigger. Now, divine strike gives me an eighth. Uh, D eight. Once on each of my turns, a one D eight extra damage on. Um, Melee attack. Yeah, that that UA can't come out fast enough. What's that? That UA that makes that work on your cantrips too. Right. All right. So he is still 
hanging on for dear life, but he has maintained his con uh, concentration, so spirit guardians are still in play. Yeah, that sucks. Um, you can always spiritual weapon him. <clears throat> well, that that get, that means I can't use my bonus action heal, so, and I kind of need that for to <laughs> survive another round anyway. Um, so I'm going to. Bonus action, mass healing word. On, <clears throat> let's see, that's Corrin, Raz, and myself. I can pick up to six targets in range of 60 feet. Um... That's significant. So I'm going to need a, um, a quick ruling on the... Um, the charm. The charm. So the charm says, anytime you receive a healing benefit, you regain an extra hit point. This charm cannot be earned above. So it's is a healing benefit both is it two healing benefits to receive healing and also get the healing because I healed someone else? I I would say okay, so this the hold up. So do you also gain the eleven from this or are you just gaining two? I targeted three people. Okay. I targeted Raz. Corin and myself. He actually gets more than two. You actually get five back. Yeah. I I don't know. I would consider that while one instance of this. Yeah, we try to debate whether the class feature and the spell I, were considered different effect sources or not. No. no I, we can't find any rulings. I think it's I would read it as the same thing, so, so I, rules are there for that one hit point. Yeah, I would say you would, instead of 15, you would get 16 because of the charm. Well, no, I get 11 for the healing. I get 2 plus the spell cast level, which was level 3. So I get 5 for that plus 1. So I get um, seven, I 17. Get 17 healing. Yes, uh, sorry. Uh, Rat and Corin both got um, 11. 11. Yep. Okay. Exactly All right. Where we're at the beginning of the round. Anything else? Um, that was my bonus. Uh, let's see. You've got movement. Yeah, I've got. It doesn't seem to make a difference where I'm standing at this point, so I'm not going to move. I'll just stay right there. Okay, Thongram, you are up. All right. Um, I guess I'm out of range of everything else and don't have much else to do, so I will attack um, this crystal. Okay. Um, with that last time. Do you remember what we said about the crystal the last time? In what regard? And you attacked it last time, right? No. You did. You rolled two hits. You missed on one and hit with the second one. It was my turn, and then he said roll two 20s just to see what would happen. Yeah. Oh, the first time. The yeah. first time, yes. That's uh, what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I got one, one hit. Rolled a 15 and a 24. Yes. Okay, so that's, that's what I wanted to check because... Um, I need to retcon something. the The first hit was not a the first the fifteen that you rolled was not a miss. It was a hit. So roll me the damage on that one too. Uh, I'm gonna roll this, but it doesn't count. Fourteen. Okay. 
Okay, proceed. I found my notes for it finally. It had fallen somewhere. Uh, okay. Um, well, then I will do two additional on top. Or that was retcon. Now I will do two non retcon. Correct. That is a hit. And that is definitely a hit. I don't know if it's the first one gets plus two. So I think the nine they all gets do. plus two. Every, everything does. So 16, 11, and 21. You should just right. go ahead and add that plus two to your, uh, all your right, damage hang on. rolls. So, that... And then I was trying to figure out how to do that with like a setting a rage, not rage flag or something. Just do what we do, like I do for my stuff, and put it in the alternate damage. So there's the two next to it. So the next one is the 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 bottom slashing one is fifteen and eight. Yes. No. Well, I don't know how that works. Because if it was plus two to all of them, bonus damage. I'm assuming the six is just the crit damage. So I'm plus, it's plus two it after. It's okay. Like, it's like you only add your strength once. You only get to add your rage once per attack. Okay, so it's 11 and then 21. Yes. Okay. Okay, so as Thongram, uh, he takes his, his great axe and he, he just plants his feet and takes it the first one drives the rest the crack that was already in the in the middle of the uh uh or in towards the center of the crystal and it drives that crack almost to the center of the stone and on your last or uh, your second uh strike um how would you characterize what you do to this to this crystal so I'm assuming it just is going to, you know, shatter in some piece, but I don't know if the magic inside it would make it implode in any way or something or explode. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely just keep hacking away at the same crack that keeps forming. All right. So as that axe cracks through the center of the stone, the, the Bane incarnate lets forth this just howling scream, just wail. As this black electric pulse just explodes from the center of uh, the crystal and kind of this force wave shocks through um, through the uh, through the temple. And you see um, as you pay as you look down upon uh, the skeletal figure of, of Bane's um, of Bane, he's knocked to the floor and is just from the, the force of this uh, of this uh, blow. So give me just a second. Can you jump with a movement, or is that an action? You can jump up to your movement if you if you can jump that far typically you can jump up to your strength and feet I think he has gravity to his advantage on this jump uh, yes you uh, jump down yes you can jump down um, but I think the dis I don't know I mean I'm not sure would you be jumping what was the distance jumping his distance or is it half of your Distance. If you're going laterally, you can jump your your strength and distance in feet with a running start. Some specific rules on that. If you're falling, you can fall like two or three hundred feet in a round. In a in a round. So, this is 
30 feet up. But uh, the base of it is really you're about square. Yeah, the base of it is here. So if I wanted to jump from where I was onto the skeleton guy, I'm only really jumping about 15 feet, but falling 20, 25 feet. Yeah. Yeah. From a standing start, you can jump half your strength. Half your strength or half your strength? If you, he's got 20 strength, he could jump 10 feet from a standstill. I mean, do we have to break out the geometry? No, no, I this? think I think we're good because I, I would. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Fall times acceleration. Yes, yeah, I'm not. I'm know. not. I'm not breaking out any uh, any physics here because um, so I, 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 I like word. On it. I get this word problem before. Yes. <laughs> did, did you do the word problem where halfway through you ju your jump you entered Spirit Guardians, which halves your speed? <laughs> <laughs> No. I see that math problem in third grade. Nope. All right. I think I, I like where Spirit Guardian is only one inch off the floor and uh, is not a dome. Uh, I like where you're going with it. So I'm going to say you could probably land directly on him from, from that. We'll say you have an extra oomph from your rage for story this aspect. This is all that comedic thing of him jumping with his axe and landing face first at his feet. <laughs> well, I'm going to jump. I'm going to kind of back up half a step and jump, attempting to kind of cannonball onto him. But I will roll a check in case this goes horribly. I'll just fall awfully painfully for 25 feet. We go to one wrestling match. And, uh, and, jump and off the top row. so, how much do you weigh? How much does the throwing him away? Um, More than Eldon and Corn combined. Hundred and eighty, two hundred pounds. I don't know if I have that written down. I think the dwarf weight rate thing is something about. All right, so it's one hundred and sixty naked, I guess. They wear what a normal so with stuff probably just the average dwarf is about 150 pounds so 175 pounds something like that plus equipment yeah probably with the equipment it's like 175 okay all righty i'm just trying to figure out how the math is so let's uh let's see what happens You roll in athletics or are you rolling ac acrobatics? I think this is, I mean, I guess, what, one to jump, one to land? I don't know. Yeah, you, usually the way I've always heard this, athletics is you going up, acrobatics is you coming down. So you would, athletics be the jump, acrobatics would be the graceful landing. Yes, I like that idea. If you idea. don't care about the graceful landing. If you don't care about the graceful <laughs> landing, then we'll, you know... We'll just go with it as is. Hold on. I've got screaming children. I've got to send some people to the bed. I'll be right back. Yeah. I mean, he's not needing the uh, the superhero landing, you know, on one, one, one foot and one knee or whatever it is, right? No, he just doesn't need to die. <laughs> he's raging. He's only falling 30 feet. He, he probably won't even notice he took damage. But he's going to be falling directly into Spirit Guardians. <laughs> There's going to be but a cascading has, effect of things has here. On, has wet feather on, so he's not going to take it. He, he, he gets to ignore 10 feet. Oh, hey, even better. I don't know why we gave him that. That's a, He's like the least character that needs it. Until he, until he climbs the top rope. <laughs> yeah. So this, I mean, he, he would take at most nine damage from that fall. I mean, the way Adam's rolling, he would take nine damage because he'd get all sixes on three d six falling damage. Yeah, roll twenty likes me this battle. Um, roll twenty 
always like to. Uh, well, you know, you spend as much time mine, with it. But everything that's not mine, garbage. The rolls for Raz, garbage. Everything Elden rolls, more garbage. Um. All right, so that link I sent you, this is what I was trying to figure out. You know, falling damage versus rocks versus thrown damage. Um, you know, again, this is a a Reddit post, so that's all. Was like it's one d six, and if you land on somebody, you just you just both take one d six. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, that's that was the simple way. Yeah. It makes no sense that a you know a two hundred pound half orc takes the same falling damage as a twenty five pound gnome. I, uh, that's kind of what I was getting at. I want to reply to this thing you said, but it's two years old. And... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I like the idea of, you know, hey, it, it's the same distance. It's like if a boulder fell on you, a 200 pound boulder versus a 10 pound rock, which one would do more damage falling from 20 feet? They would both hurt like hell. <laughs> Just depends on where they hit. I'm pretty sure the boulder just hits you. It hits you all over at once. Yeah. Whereas, like a ten-pound rock, if it hits you in the right place, could still kill you. <laughs> just likely, since it's falling down on top of you, your head's a pretty big target. All right, so on top of this, this guy is prone at the moment. You're cracking up. It's because I keep pressing my... I, I, my my press to talk is the tilde key. And so... <laughs> All right, so Bane Incarnate is presently prone... <laughs> We've got spirit did he guardian. Take damage from that, from that thing he did. Or he, he did fall down. No, he he took damage. Did he have a concentration roll? Mm, for what? For cloud kill. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. I mean, it's going to be uh, like a twenty-seven, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, you're right. No, no, no. I, no. I'd forgotten about that. It was um. Doo -doo 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 -doo. 20. So, not 27. Yeah. Although, although, doesn't Thongrim, can't Thongrim luckyify any roll? No, he can only, he can only affect enemy attack rolls against him. Oh, gotcha. You want got the, divining, one. the divination wizard. Yeah, he's got one more lucky roll. One more roll. They have not been lucky. Correct. I was saying more lucky as in the feat, the title roll, not. <laughs> yeah, no. I just I, that roll is that that feat is misnamed tonight and and tonight and Sunday. And for what it's worth, don't forget that you have that skylight kind of broken out into the, the ceiling of this thing. And it's about, you know, 30 feet in the air. Just, I don't Did know. You drew it for because there's some reason to break. What's that? I figured you drew it on there because there's some reason we should have been breaking it a while back. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Just uh, honestly, I expected you guys to come in from the ceiling. <laughs> I did not anticipate you like walking in the front door. You, you didn't think we could just waltz in the front door? You guys have never just walked into a door. <laughs> now you can never know it that we won't. I know. <laughs> I mean, for the longest time, doors were probably your greatest enemy. 
I think you started that with Quinn having a <clears throat> hoot hoot go fly around everywhere, and he, we didn't have to look go through a door unless yeah, unless we went and checked everything around it. <laughs> so Thongram, you get advantage on things on athletics because you're raging. How does or where do you get a, a advantage yeah, on strength checks, ability checks? Strength ability like checks. Athletics. Like athletics. Okay. All right. So you get that extra oomph to leap forward off of the off the Phoenix statue. And I envision you try to make this graceful kind of arc as you do a you know a front gainer into a swan dive. I'm assuming you have your axe out in front of you. Well, I don't have another attack, so I guess I'm just going to kind of jump. Yes, that's um, what I'm saying. And then superhero landing. Superhero landing. I'm assuming you were attempting to land directly on on this guy. Yeah, that's the hope. I'm just going to kind of land on him and make it more difficult, I guess, for him to okay. get up next time. I mean, I guess he'd, <laughs> if I'm laying on him and he's prone... He'd have to get me off him to get up. You, so. you can't be in his square. Though. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna end up rolling off of him one way or the other because you you can't occupy both spaces. I'll, as much as I would like to do that. Um, How does that work with pin then? Uh, you're standing next to him. You're still uh, you're you're still occupying the space next to them. All right. Well, however. Okay. So superhero landing. Superhero landing. <laughs> Bam. Okay. So you uh which way would you roll? North, east, west, south. Put yourself in a, a square around him wherever you wish to be. I don't care. <clears throat> um that's good enough. Probably not the flank position. Uh, that would not be wise, but whatever. I guess it might be. In, I mean, if I'm jumping this way, I'd hit him and roll. Momentum would carry me in front of him, I guess. Stands to reason. I like it. That's probably right. most so advantageous we'll for you. Okay, so you land on him, and going by simple rules, that causes 1D... That's going to cause 1D6 falling damage for every 10 feet, right? Yeah. Okay, so but 2D6. Remember, he's also got that rune, that, that charm that can... But that... No, 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 no. I'm talking about two people are going to be taking damage here. No, but his charm negates the first 10 feet of falling speed. Oh, it's like It's okay. like a yeah. small... It's like he only fell 20 feet. Right. Well, he jumped from 25, so he is only falling 15 feet. So it's going to be 10 and then the next. So... But does he get the full 25 damage? That's what I was arguing, but the way the charm reads is it like negates ten feet of it, so you're just kind of like falling slowly. Does it get my? Oh yeah, it doesn't slow down the deceleration. It's like it's like a Looney Tune. You look down halfway through your jump and then started falling. Fat, yeah, no, I, I, we're, yeah. So we're, we're we're dealing with the the <laughs> because physics are stupid for us right now. The wet feather is going to negate 10 feet of the vertical drop, not the horizontal distance. So you're still landing on him. So what ha what have you? So oh, that's the one I crit. Cool. Awesome. Thanks for that. <laughs> so is that the damage you're dealing to him or the deal damage? I guess that was for me, right? You said 1d6 fall damage. Yeah, for it shouldn't it be the same for both? It, well, yeah, it should be the same yeah, for both. So he'll that. take he'll take six, and you'll take half of that. Right? Uh, sure. For raging. Fall damage is bludgeoning? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Barbarians are weird. Okay, so he's taken yet another bolt of damage. On time? God damn it. Okay. <laughs> so, there's that. Thongram has moved. He has... He has actioned, and do you have any bonus action that you would like to do?
Did you hear me? Sorry, what was that? Do you have a bonus action that you would like to do? Oh, um, I don't think I can do anything with a bonus action. Um, I'll make look out, pose ominously. I don't know. Okay, posing ominously. Way to I go. Can't, I mean, I can't take a potion. I can't do an attack. I can't. Yeah, I just really I was just anything. asking. I don't really. No, All right, I'm good. Actually, you can, can't you? You're a bar, um, berserker. Do you have a special rage? Um, I think I can do one, but it also puts me at um, advantage for something for the next round. That that's uh, uh, the the frenzy. So you can anytime you're in a rage, you can uh, make a bonus action, sec- third attack. If you do so, you yeah. take one level of exhaustion when the rage ends. Yeah, I'm I'm not frenzied yet. I'm good. I think that's the only bonus action you would have. All right, so I can enter. I can enter. Uh, enter rage as a bonus action. Yeah. All right, so you are already raging. Okay, so the priest that is next to uh, Elden is going to uh, do his bonus action of Divine Eminence at second level, uh, which will, if he connects with a melee wet attack, uh, will increase the damage by 2d6. And he is going to pivot around... Elden, so he can bask in the sunlight. Okay, the priest here, um, up uh, near near Thongram, has to. Where is Cloud Kill? Where did that go? Um. He has to, he's starting his turn, so he needs to do a constitution saving. Or take 5d8. That's against the guy's spell uh, save throw, uh, which he failed magnificently. As he uh, comes to it, he starts to take his action. He starts foaming at the mouth and falls over dead. So our one kill was was friendly fire. Okay, so this guy, he's going to move forward, 5, 10, 15, he's going to move up here around Mr. Thongram, uh, maintaining his concentration, and he's going to attempt to strike him with his mace. I wouldn't give him flanking with the guy lying down, right? He's engaged, though. He is engaged, and that's how we've ruled it in the past, too. As long as you're not inca- incapacitated. Correct. These are the same rules that would give me sneak attack. Uh. So Thongram takes two bludgeoning damage. Yup. And then movement. Five. Okay, so this guy's going to. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and then dash again. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Let's see. That would have put him... He wants to stand right around you, so there. And he is going to be done. 
brings us back to the top of the round. The Bane Incarnate is presently on the ground. He's going to use half of his movement to stand up. Because that's what he likes to do. And he is going to look, turn, well, look at Thongram and goes, Boy, you have done messed up. That's a hit. For 17. That's a hit. I'm dead. Do you have a lucky? You do have a lucky. It's not going to matter with the necrotic damage. You could re-roll one of his attacks to make him miss. A lot you could that one. I mean, sure, you can reuse one. Just a straight D twenty. Rolling well, finally wor low, finally worked for it. All right, so. I'll let you choose which one did you want to negate. I would, yeah, I'll take the three. Uh, oh, uh, no, I'll take the second one. I'll just follow it in order. Okay. All right. All right, so what is it? I have one more of those. That was your last one. I think that was your last one. Oh, all right. Well, I don't have any of them. Okay, so that said, and he that that was two attacks, right? Okay. All right. So he's going to he's going to sit there and um, going to maintain his dominating pose over Thongram. Corin, you are up. Wisdom saving throw, please. Of course. Okay, enraged by all this, you know, comical errors on our part, I'm going to Take one step forward, and I am going to cast Shadow Blade so that a giant black sword appears in my hand, and I'm going to stab this asshole with it. I like that plan. And I'm going to then pull out a dagger and make an offhand attack. That hits. So nine damage. And of course, this, the the worst thing about these rolls that you get, Adam, is that if they ever had disadvantage, they'd fail because they the low number is always the second number. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to continue my movement at least and get to right there, and then hope something changes for next round and I die, and I'm done. But you should have also moved Cloud Kill. Oh, yes. So that would... Well, not yet. It will... Five feet or is that ten? That was ten. That was ten. Yeah, well, it was here. Okay. Okay. Um, and Maybe Raz will get super lucky. He's going to have to because he... It, at if, yeah, whatever. Uh, so Doug, being Doug, um, 
10, 15, 20. You guys will not defeat Bane. You will not defeat what my life's work has been since, well, at least since I've come onto this crummy continent. It's given me purpose. And he is going to well, attempt to shoot at uh, Thongram one more time. Um, and miss. Quinn, last death or de last death saving throw. Of course. All right, so who's going who <laughs> to like Quinn? <laughs> What's a, what's a level what's a level eight wizard look like like level three slot. Uh, i don't know if he's leveled up accordingly right? i didn't the uh, the, the furthest I that i got the furthest that i got quinn was uh you know i would i, I kept him up to level five um but at this point and I would have let Raz do it too, but he, uh, you know, that that didn't pan out. So, uh, um, what he'll do. no, he takes his round now. He's awake. He's just tied up. Yeah, he's he is presently tied up, but he takes his round now. Your death saving throw is your turn. No, it it's is the not. Start of your turn. It's the start of my turn, and if you get a one. If you get out, if you roll a critical success, you are awake and you get to take your action. In lieu of her turn, but okay. It's the beginning of your turn, so you get. Okay. Not gonna argue. Let him. Let him shoot something that probably will backfire and shoot kill the rest of us on accident. Can he do anything though? He's tired. He's, he needs something that doesn't have uh, mater uh, somatic components or material. Might literally be worthless. Honestly, we haven't. We haven't done any of that stuff. We haven't really been paying attention much to it. The, the question is: is he is tied up? Um. So. Um. What does? You know, uh, Ash, I gave you control of his character sheet. Uh, okay, hold on. Might make... Let Gabe do it. He, he has more understanding of the spell casting aspect of this game. I only know how to poke stuff with a pointy... All right, everybody has access to it. <laughs> I'll go look at his spell list and see how bad it was. I've been no, I've been keep. I kept it up to like level five or level four, maybe level five. So he's he's got more stuff than you think he does. But then, then I stopped keeping up with it. Okay, I I, I see what he can do cast two spells uh, I don't know which of these spells he has prepared I guess doesn't matter just go with it okay he is going uh, do you want me to take it Gabe or you want I, <coughs> I wouldn't know where to start uh, right, he is going to cast Misty Step as a bonus action which is a teleportation spell now there and no longer bound. So okay. he was tied to it and not like shackled. No, he was tied. Okay. Now I gotta figure out what of his which of his cantrips he can actually do. He can also sculpt spells. So if there's something that ends up, um, right now all I can do is cast cantrips. But yeah, right. that's the he can. 
not hurt Thongram? Yes, so he cannot hurt Thongram. I'm, well, I'm not sure he ever met me, so it's not like he has any fondness for me. Also true. <clears throat> um, so you do what you gotta do. All he can really do is he's going to cast a firebolt at the Bane guy. A level 8 fireball. It was not a attack roll. Here's there. And he probably misses. Apparently, I get to see everybody else's clicks too. So when I try and look at something, some. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. <laughs> That's fun. That is a miss. And then he's going to use his movement to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And he's that was Raz's last chance. Oh no, that was okay. That's Quinn. Now on Raz's turn, uh, he's in. No, he's got to. Wake and got to roll a Constitution saving throw. And so Raz just falls unconscious. You just roll the worst ever. Under eleven. Under eleven. Nope, that won't do it. He's unconscious again. Okay. This turn is over. Well then, wisdom saving throw. Ooh, where am I? Okay. Like, that, like 15? 14. 14, yeah. Didn't roll any much, all that much better than last time. And Thongram, you're on deck. Hopefully, hopefully to drink that giant healing potion. Drink all the potions. Alrighty, so guess. Oh, Thongram, you're within sixty feet. Why is he X'd out? Because he just died again due to cloud kill. He's not. He's, he's unconscious. Just, he's just unconscious. Yes, yeah, just unconscious. So one person, two people, three people, four people, five people within range. Oh my gosh, that's making it even almost more worth it. Oh, so of course. Um. <clears throat> going to start with this so I'll mass healing word everybody uh, so I rolled the lowest I could roll and that still gives everybody 10 hit points it's a d4 though you're going to roll the lowest you're going to roll yeah I know my 11 last time was whole 2 so uh, that's and that is still 16 for me so I just took 16 damage, and then I just healed 16 damage. Oh, for shoot. And is that including your plus one? Yeah, nope, that's the five plus six. I didn't get a response from Corn. Corn, are you below half before we do that? So is it 19 and 51? Uh, so my half is 25. Can I retcon? Sure. Okay. So I just, I was down at 13. Say that I'm still going to use that. I'm just doing it in a different order because of order matters. I'm not going to use, I'm not going to attack. So, um. I should going... move closer though. What's that? You should start moving closer. Eventually you'll crawl your way to Raz. Oh no, I'm not. Yeah, no, I don't. I can't get with, get to within Raz. What I'm going to do is get to within thirty of you. About ten more rounds, you could get near him. Oh, I, in ten rounds, I won't have anything left to do. I won't have any skills left at all. So is that thirty and thirty? Okay. 
Welcome back, Quinn. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna do my divine um divine healing. And so um it has a bubble on it. Okay, so I get 40 hit points. So how many do you need? I need six. To get to half, so that's six to you. Um, for me to get to half of 69 is... I can't do math. 34. Uh, so 34 minus 13 is... 21. You're at half then. Right. So you get six to get to half. I get 21. That's um, 27 used, leaving 13 to Quinn. Who only needs 10 to get to half. Has he been leveled up to where he would actually. There's. If he Four. Doesn't... He's a well, he's a hit. If he had one hit point when he rolled a 20. And he's got 25 hit points max. He's a level 4 wizard. He's super squishy. Oh. Okay. Well, then I guess we all got to half. And hit points, you're going to bonus action heal. And then uh, for that's a healing benefit, right? So I can get my plus one from the charm. Yes. And then my bonus action, which I already rolled, gives 10 to each, to everybody, including Thongram and Raz. Yes. Uh, so, and 16 to... Just wakes up and coughs back to sleep. Because that's yep. a, Well, that's 16... I get the healing. That's a separate healing benefit, correct? Yes. Okay. 41. It's just best to rule that action or bonus action. That would be better, yes. But homebrew. What's that? What a, no, we're, we're good. We're good. All right, so Thongram gets 10. So you should be up to 18. <clears throat> Is he there? Yeah. Yep, 18 it is. And you are on deck. So, all right. Is that everything, Elden? Now that I can move. Oh, shoot. As long as, yeah, this is, I want to be, yeah, that's the right spot. So I won't move anymore. I'm done. Thongram, Barbarian Extraordinaire, you are facing a towering skeletal figure, Bane, whose vengeance is staring directly down at you, and you've got a priest behind you. What do you do? Uh, Outside of rolling a wisdom saving throw to start off the round. <laughs> For spirit guardians. <laughs> so I apparently have a potion. It's not on my sheet. You have at least one potion of superior healing, which is 8d4 plus 8. What was that? We distributed two to him and two to... Uh, yeah, so he should have two of them. Yeah, but drinking the potion is your action. Is it still the same action if I drink both potions Steve Austin style? And drink both, like drink it two beers at the same time? Does that count? Or I drink half of each. 
He is raging though, so I'm You are gonna... raging, and I like where you're going. So let's grab them both, pop let's... them with the thumbs, and just gozzle, gozzle, gozzle. Well, I figure there should be like a a roll for that, but um like performance comes to mind, but you know what? Since since we're here, what the hell? Go for it. But there needs to be something witty. You need to have something comical to say for this. All right, hold on a sec. He is now searching Reddit. So, like, I'll spit some blood on the ground and be like, Boy, you think this is almost over, don't you? We're only getting started. And I'll reach into my pocket, you know, reach into my pocket, pop both, and just guzzle, guzzle. And then I roll, like, 400 dice. 8d4 plus 8, two times. <laughs> Wait, what is it? Uh, so it's 8d4 and then add 8 to that? Yes. Okay. Sixty-nine, dudes. All right, that seems to that seems to check out. All right. So now that you've done that, what do you do? Uh, if I'm not raging, I will rage. Oh, I took damage last time, so I still should be raging. Um, yeah, I believe you are presently raging. And then I need an action to disengage. Which you can't do. I think you're down to bonus action belch. You're down to bonus action, and you can still move. All right, so I'm going to roll, and then while I'm rolling, I'm going to yell, parkour, parkour. <laughs> Where are you rolling? Parkour. All right. Parkour. All right, so you're rolling around this. Is... Yeah, you can't hit someone doing parkour. <laughs> Damn right you can't. All right. And that should be everything. All right. This priest down here by Eldon, um, it's going to move. Oh, one, six, five, ten, fifteen, see, 5, 10, 15. He's going to move right there. Actually, no, he's not. He's going to start off his action by attacking Eldon for 13. Uh, that is a miss, yes. And then five, 10, 15. he's gonna move right there. Oh, he's stepping out? Yeah. I think I smacked him. Yeah, you did. Yeah. So he takes six piercing damage trying to walk away from him. Walking well, away. yeah, shit, I didn't think, I didn't know how many. All right, so what did you do to the poor bastard? Oh, I just, I, I since I'm short, I went with a, a reach under with my dagger 
as he was walking away and just gave him what for and the wherefore. Well, I can tell you he didn't like it very much. And to show his discontent with it, he fell over dead. All right, so the priest that just watched the parkour happen. Gonna. Uh, 10, 15. Let's see, what is he gonna do? What is he going to do? He's already got a spell there. Uh, 5, 10, 15. He's going to see this newfound threat uh, down here, and he's going to attempt to uh, crush the wizard. Think 13. That misses. Oh, that hits. He sees 13. For six. And this priest, 21 at uh, uh, we'll take that th maybe three. <laughs> no, no, I'll just go ahead and uncanny dodge out the one. All right, Thungram lost signal. He'll be back in a minute. How often can you use that? Yeah, it's a reaction. Oh, so that's just your reaction? Yeah. Yep. Cool. Okay, here we are at the top of the round, and um, the skull uh, Bane comes back, and uh, says, I see you rolling around there, you peasant. And oof. Wow. Oof. Then you let him double guzzle those things. Oof. Fifty damage. Fifty? How's that? Forty? Twenty two plus eighteen. So you have forty damage. Yeah. That'll be seven plus 21 plus 11, so 32. Yeah. Wait, sorry. Nope. Strike. Ignore that. I'm happy. I... What is bloody ending? Blue, blue, blue. It's blue de ending. Yep. Yes. Blue blue de owning. It's it's French. It's Celtic. <laughs> All right, so thirteen for the next one. So thirty-two and thirteen. Yes. Only well, you got a healing potion left. Corin, you are up. Okay, right, so saving throw. Ahead, and I'd probably be a puddle. Hey, he saved. Yeah, I've, I've been rolling decent on these. Great, that's he's not in spirit guardian, but we'll use that. Name. Yeah, I am. That's uh, that, that's me. I'm. I'm... We'll, we'll take half eight. Yeah, it's four, yeah. but I need to roll two. Oops, I need to roll two saving throws. Pulling Raz, is this? A... I had had the wrong ads down there. It was that, that was as me. I have a plus one to wisdom. Raz is rolling for the fog. I was like, what? Hold on, I gotta roll. Now oh, I lost Shadow Blade. Oh, your constitution. That's a. That's a. Uh, concentration. Concentration. Oh, okay. Alright, well, I'm just gonna pull the rapier back out and stab him with that then. Real XD damage. Yeah. Or she saved. Even. Of course. 
people, I'm going to go ahead and hit him with my dagger. Or whip him with my dagger. That's a hit. Wow. Six more. For what it's worth, he is on death's door. Because that actually should have been two damage, not six. I don't get my dex modifier on offhand attacks. Oh, so he gains four more, four back? Yep. Yep. All right, and they still, the spirit guardians still stick around. Of course they do. All right, I'm, I'm done. That's all. Okay. Yeah. I'll move up one square, one tile up, and then I'm done. Oh, the, uh, this stuff continued to move down at the top of the round. Forgot about that. So Doug, seeing what Quinn has done, and it's like, you bastard, why won't you die? Five. And... Well, that's what I should have done with him earlier, but oh well. So that's... He shot at Quinn with a 12. And, and missed. Missed. That brings us to Quinn, who needs to roll a wisdom saving throw. Otherwise, I should have cast shield, but he got hit that first time, but oh well. That is a save. It's going to matter with his 13 hit points. Never mind, you, you rolled crappy for once. All right, well, he is going to go big or go home, as they say, and move up to around there to get a clean shot and throw out some scorching rays at the Bane guy. Let me make sure I read this right. That is not what I want to post, but I'll take... Post a spell. Oh, post a spell. Is it a, a leveled spell? It might have a pop up in the. No, it just. I mean, these these rolls count. It just I'm trying to get the damage. So he gets to roll three of them. Okay, the second one hits. Okay. Um. Seven fire damage to Bane. And then one more. There it is. That's a hit. Nine. So he also has to make two... Uh, Two Constitution saving th concentration checks. Finally. All right. Quinn is adding to the battle, and I'm assuming that's it. I don't think he has any good, you know, he is going to miss the step again, but we can't cast a spell. So he has nothing good to do. Let's move right there to finish off the last of his movement. Okay. Raz I'm a level, a level eight wizard doesn't have level eight. He's not level eight. Hey, I, I never bothered to update his thing. And frankly, I did not anticipate him joining the fray. He's He's been slated to die several times now, and he's managed to survive this entire time. All right, Raziel is up. Hey, that's, that's good, because... 
for the first time, he doesn't have to do a wisdom saving throw for anything. He's going to do is move to. I got to find. Oh, he's got clear shot. Still going to move. Let's say to there. No. To there. I'm trying to do geometry in my head here. There. Going to fire his two Eldritch Blasts. The first one at this guy. I can find his character sheet. Are you doing Hex first, or...? No, just Eldritch Blast. That is a hit. Just eight force damage, and he gets pushed ten feet to the south. Well, is that before or after he perishes? His body gets pushed ten feet to the south. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he took that feat, or that invocation. Used it before. And yeah. the other one, the other one was going after this guy. Yeah, we when we talked about it, he wanted. We were talking about whether push or pull or. He just didn't actually no. write any of these down. Right. Yeah. And that's a horrible, horrible miss. Yep. Who was that at? The other guy next to Quinn. Uh. So I'm going to figure out how his last little ability here works. Eldon, you're on deck. Yep. So it's not on his character sheet. I'm trying to find a range here. Sixty feet. He will throw out some in, some bardic inspiration to uh, Quinn, I guess. No, we'll give it to Thongram. Okay. Thongram, you should feel inspired. What's an advantage? It's a D eight for. You're, you get to pick one ability, attack roll, or saving throw, and make it put add a d8 to it. Before or after a roll? Um, use it be after you roll, but before it's, you're told it's a hit or not. Okay, thanks. All right, anything else for Raz? He is done. Elden and Thongram, you are on deck. How's our team looking here? 30, 10, and 10. You've got a squishy wizard in play again. Quinn, Quinn's only got 25 max, so there's not much you can do to make him but if you think, is it better off uh, spiritual weaponing that guy than you would healing him. Which one is he? Oh, he's up after Fondrum. Um, and you've right, currently got three three players, three enemies on the field. Yep, I know. I forgot about Doug. I keep forgetting about Doug, but he's he's kind of because he doesn't he, have an aura around him, or he's not a giant skull. I don't necessarily see him. Blends in. Yeah, he blends in with everything else. Um, okay, so I am going to try and get this guy I know they've got high wisdom so it's probably yeah I'll try it anyway sacred flaming him he has to save DC 15 failed for nine? Oh, that's right. Okay, so he takes nine damage and a constitution save. <laughs> and no more concentration. That was the, that's probably been the most effective uh, spirit guardians we've seen. Okay. 
That's so many of them. Right. And, um... One, two, is that... Shoot. Okay, so I need to get within range of Thongrim. I think, Thongrim, you're looking pretty beat up in that fight over there. Yes, no, maybe so. It's about halfway. He lost connection or something, didn't he? Yeah, he, he's, he's less than half. Okay. Lost like 50 hit points that last Yeah, round. he's... Okay, so actually I want to make... I'm going to move. The arrow keys should just always be movement for whatever your token. So I was here. I'm going to yes. go here. Actually, wait, I was here, here, I was there. inside. Yeah, down. you were right there. So, hold on, um, I just want to, do you go try and res Siona? Um, I'm actually looking for, um, being out of at least movement range of Doug. Not to spill my hand, but you're... He's got a crossbow, so it's, that's really what he's doing. Oh, okay. So from there... If you go behind that, that'll give you some additional cover because even though it's a brazier, it'll give you a little extra oomph if, if you're really concerned about it. Well, he's three feet tall. He should be able to... Uh... Uh, I don't know if you lost audio or not. He's permanently cued there. And me? Uh, Eldon. No, I mean... Yeah. He dropped off, so maybe somebody went to him. Uh, Ash, why did you lose connection? Was it Discord or for other reasons? Hey, Nothing. Yeah, hey, all right, there you are. I can always switch the server around if we have to. Okay. So you can hear, could you hear me during that? Or? No. I heard you saying you wanted to get out of his movement reach, and that was the last I heard of you. Okay. Um, so, I guess technically, I, can I get to there? 25 feet, right? Around, around that? Yeah. Okay. And that, it, that spot there is within 60 feet of everyone on the team. So, I will move to there and... Use my mass healing word for everybody again. The minimum 10 for everyone. It's a good thing your minimum is good. I made him a healer. So you, you get like 150% of your healing is static number super helpful all right so thongren gets 10 everybody else has gotten that okay. it's possible that quinn could survive around <clears throat> ac of 13 man not mage armor he is squishy yep All right. Anything else, Eldon? Uh, I moved. I bonus. I actioned. I'm good. Thongram, you are up. 
All right. Well, I don't have much else to do, so I guess in the instance of this, I will s go Super Saiyan and Super Rage, and then I will use that to use three attacks. Last two are hits. And you could have used your inspiration on the first one if you didn't roll so fast. Go ahead and roll the inspiration on that one. Eight. Eight. Yes. All right. Last two are hits. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Okay, so he is looking battered and beaten as you've chipped away at him. Um, you know, you've chipped away at the, you know different parts of outcropped um, bony uh, things. He's he's looking hurt. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to move on. Uh, so, uh, you've done your action. What else do you want to do, sir? I guess, and uh, we're both kind of looking haggard. I'll just kind of, you know, with kind of bloody mouth or whatever, kind of smile at him, and that's all I'll do. Okay, you don't want to move or? No, I'm good. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything else to do. Okay. Nobody should be able to get behind me, so I'm in as good a position as I'm going to get. Can't go like super defense or whatever, right? Like turtle mode. There's that no. dodging would be an action. Yeah, I'm alright for now. Okay. So this priest is going to uh, use a cantrip and he's going to cast Sacred Flame um, at, um, well, yeah, pretty much at, uh, at, at Quinn, directly in front of him. Dex 13, oh, this is 55, 50.5% chance. He made a... Chappelle. High dex. I was... He was going to go like arcane... War, war, uh, yeah, I know. We, we, yeah. I was I was the rogue who was a wizard, and you were the wizard who was a rogue. Yeah, pretty much. All right, and he's going to... Priest number two is dead. That brings us to the top of the round. And the skull guy, the Bane, is... Um, looks at, uh, let's see. Oh, he's going to stand his ground and it's going to be a, um, it's going to be a bloodbath. So the first one hits. Or 12. Corin. It's 38. Yes, it does. Corin, you're up. Okay. Um, so. I will move. Oh, I can actually move my full movement speed again. Move to right there. This is, you know, let's end this shit. I'm, I'm tired of your sorry ass popping up all over the place. So, seven damage. Okay. 
All right. Then I will go ahead and just, you know, come around with a dagger. Is that a hit or? Oh, sorry. That is no, that is not a hit. Okay. It was. Okay. So I am done then. Doug then turns around and. He's rolling as shitty as we are. Yes, yes, he is. <laughs> uh, and so that's Doug, hit for hit. Quinn. Quinn is going to. Not a lot he can do, but. I figure out some of these spells don't have descriptions, but I'll just go ahead and say he can't can't cast that, so Oh, if there's no description, I don't know if these spells never mind, I can't I'm, I'm gonna say I can't cast anything with material components. So he's just going to firebolt the guy next to him. Or the ground next to him. Yes, he is not going to do much of anything. And then he will move to right there. And I don't think he's got anything else he can do. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, he's done. All right, Raz. Raz is up. Alden, you are on deck. Okay, Raz. Let's see. If I have to move to right there and cast Eldritch Blast again. One against. First one against Doug. It's Quinn's character sheet. So many character sheets. That's a miss. Another one against Doug as well. Oh. Crit. Sucky crit, but... Did he not take the one that gives you charisma? On, um, I don't know what he took. We'll just say 15 damage and he gets pushed back 10 feet. So it's 15 The and the other one is nothing? That, the, next... that, the other one would be if he had a hex up. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, well, he just, I don't know what his other inc invocation because usually you take the one that gives you your charisma on your damage, but because he didn't write it down and didn't edit his character sheet. All right, well, then we'll just move on. He's moved, he's attacked, he's actioned, and is he bonus actioning? He, he, did, he did write down, it just re-rolled crappy. Um, he doesn't really have... No, he will... Wait, this thing, can he, he can see over that, right? Yes. Then he will throw another Bardic Inspiration on Thongrim. Okay. He's done. Elden. Elden. Uh, what kind of creature is Bane? He's skeletal. You can clearly see that. Uh, yeah, no, that's what I was, is he, um, so that would make him undead, or? Uh, you, you would, you would know that, yeah, Elden would know that. That he's an undead, or a fiend, yes. or a... Yes, he's, yes. Okay. Ah, should I do this? You think in the, the circle -y? I think I'm, I'm just trying to see if the benefit of it. Think it doesn't? Can't willingly enter. Clee be redirecting his attacks towards us. Oh, well, it's um, it's a reversible cylinder. 
I can put him in the cylinder and he can't oh. leave it. So let's look at that. Does it say 10 feet? Or does it say 10 feet? Sorry, uh, the... 10 foot radius, 20 foot tall cylinder. Centered on a point on the ground. I mean, okay. So there. Mean spell, that's not even concentration. No, it's not concentration. I, I mean, I was trying to cast. I was trying to get a chance to cast earlier, but we were all dying. So um, I, think, I think it was okay. That it's either this or banishment. Another attempt at banishment. He seemed pretty resistant to that. So here we go. At level four. So he, there is now a cylinder around him. He can't, I reversed it, so he can't willingly leave. And any attacks on anything outside the cylinder are at disadvantage. Okay. Does anybody uh, read anything different into that? And I'm targeting, he is of type undead, is that what we're call, saying? Or yes. Fiend or celestial or what? He's know, undead. Undead, so this is targeted on the undead. Alright, so it's you you Wait, have it. hold on. Can I even cast that? The opponents? No, I mean, time is one minute. Yeah, that's what I just saw. It's not an action. You could start. <laughs> that was that seemed awful powerful for a third level spell. Yeah. Right. All right. Okay. So, never mind. Forget strike. That. Uh, strike that from the record, and I will. Um... Let's see. I will move this. Uh, move my spiritual weapon with my my um, shoot I think that's still 20 feet right there right and attack okay attack that guy who's fighting. that's a hit and I'm actually that is one place I am rolling well with that spiritual weapon 5 force damage not that it's doing a ton of damage. Um, Every little bit helps. And who's... I guess I'll just... Since I already took tons of time. I will just Sacred Flame the same guy. And he dodges. And doesn't he doesn't even take half? Nope, save or suck. All right. So. Yeah, the, yeah, it's a cantrip. So. Ah, got. It. All right. Um, you are you moving? No. All right, Thongram, you are up. I will continue my Super Saiyan attacking. I'll roll all three, and if I need to inspire one, I will at the end to minimize. I will roll it on the 13. I'll roll it on the 16.
Two hits. Uh, plus two, four. So 21 plus seven is 28. So Thongram, tell us what you do to this, this guy. Uh, I mean, how does he die? I guess, uh, I'll, I'll let him die how he wants to die. And then maybe I'll say something to him at the end. Do I know that he's dying? I mean, is it clear that he's dead? Uh, as the battle axe, as the great axe uh, chips away at him, the the energy that was loosely holding him together starts to dissipate. And before the to hit, you see that the bonds that he was having, his bo his bones start to kind of not uh, they kind of not dissipate, but they start to kind of lose lose their form and are starting to slowly fall apart and if you could see a facial expression on the skull it would be it'd be a look of bewilderment like how did this happen at uh, you would um from uh, you know those with arcane knowledge would look at it and say okay it looks it, it seems like the entire ritual had not fully completed so the in cor the corporeal being had not taken set for bane um, yeah, as you look down at the, uh, the scroll case that has been opened and the, uh, uh, you see that it's, well, it's kind of, you know, kind of falling apart since the keys had, uh, been used to unlock it. The entire mechanism has just kind of been almost disintegrated. Um, and it appears, you know, as the skeleton starts to fall to pieces, you hear him this this just this I, I don't know how to describe this 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 wailing kind of banshee scream and you feel this this kind of this vacuum force kind of shooting up towards towards the heavens as this kind of this energy evaporates uh from uh from the, the place where the, the the where the skeletal bane existed and as that happens this force erupts and the building starts to shake and fall start falling apart as the the, the temple starts to collapse in on top of you guys and if if i were you this might be a good time to try to escape so the temple is starting to fall uh, fall apart around you and we will drop out of initiative as everybody starts to scramble. Doug and the other priest are running. Yes, they. Uh, it's, I mean, like I said, the bold, uh, big chunks of the uh, the, uh, the 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 temple ceiling are starting to fall down and start crashing around you. So. Um, you have, you have defeated this. It appears that he has gone away. It appears the ritual has not succeeded, uh, uh, kind of dashing the, the church's uh, immediate plans to bring Bane back into this. Um, so out of initiative, um, you guys, um, You guys have to escape. Someone come help me with Siona. All right, no. So the way I'm the way I'm going to take this is, um, I I'm going to say your end game is to try to you know try to escape, uh, and we'll treat it as a as, you know kind of a pseudo skill challenge. So, I guess as he dies in front of me and I'm, you know, realizing what's going on, I kind of notice the skull case. I know it was kind of behind the eagle, and I don't know if I would have been able to see while I was on top of the eagle, but do we know where the actual skull itself is? Or did it kind of 
disintegrate in. She was reading. Came in, yeah, right? she was, and then he burst out of her. But I don't know what happened to the actual scroll. I, I honestly, I don't remember either. I kind of, I would have envisioned it kind of uh, it dis- disintegrating as it's being used, as a, as any other scroll would be done. Okay, then I'm gonna make like a tree and get out of here. So, <clears throat> if um, as y'all are trying to escape, um, what um, what what do you do? Everyone, come help me with Siona. A rising corn have run over. Okay, so that would be athletics. Sure. I'm assuming so her out. Or? Yeah, I mean, I'm assuming y'all are trying to carry her out. What are you trying to do? He casted revivify or whatever. Vivify. Revivify. Okay. Uh. So she. She has one hit point. And she has uh, lay on hand, so she has a lot of hit points. Okay. And then we run. Okay, so that, then you're trying to run, so that would be more acrobatics then. So, um, who's, who's leading the charge on this one? Yes, I will. Okay. Really, it's my best, second best skill. Third best. Okay, so you guys, you still manage to, uh, uh, you as, as you're running, you're kind of bundling things, uh, but rocks are falling, uh, parts of the temple, uh, it's getting, uh, you know, like I said, falling to us, uh, around you. As you get close to the exit, though, one of the walls kind of falls down on top of you, on top of you all, and uh, you end up taking... Um, you take, you know, some falling, some bludgeoning damage from falling. Right. You each take seven damage. I'm just going to run right down the pipe. Okay. Well, no, at this point, you guys have, uh, you know, as everything's falling around you, uh, you do manage to, uh, to uh, you know, make your way out of the temple and into the, um, into the courtyard, uh, which was once the, the mall of the damned. Uh, and you see people all around you, uh, you know, that there's alarm that the temple has started to crumble there, uh, in the, in the early afternoon and the city guard takes notice of you. And there's a lot of commotion, um, so, um, at that point, uh, Thongram, what, what would you do? Oh, as has a Church of Bane emblem he can pull out and start. Who has that? spitting some bullshit about, you know. Oh, Bane yeah. is that He's displeased with us. Run! Okay, that's Raz? Raz yeah. will pull out his Church of Bane emblem and... Try to. In, I'm not even trying to hunt his accent and be all authoritative. Oh, yeah. What's that? Traitor in our midst. A traitor. He yeah. Point. Because then Doug and what's the name got out first. Well, he will point at him and be like, "That man has committed sacrilege." All right. Uh, d- throw me a deception roll. Okay. That is. Uh, well, that's oh, a terrible roll with a plus eight. I guess we shouldn't be casting right now. Well, well, I mean, uh, you can Wait, do that. Wait, you rolled it as you. Yeah, roll it I as... Rolled it, I rolled it as me, the plus eight. I don't have a plus eight. Uh-huh. Just a little drop down. I can, you know... Ah. I always okay. remember to change it when I change characters. Okay. All right, so uh, they kind of look around and, uh, uh, and Doug's like, that's... I am not. You have seen me with... 
with the mistress Gilda. Why would I have done this? Those are the ones that you need to get. Um, and the, the city watch uh, looks at it and they, they start kind of trying to surround you guys. Um, you know, it's trying to, they start corralling you as you walk, you know, you're moving your way down the front steps of this temple. So in the, um, if you're looking at the map here, you guys are on that kind of that Western side of that little red circle. Um, so, um, so the city guards coming up, you know, starting to kind of encircle you guys. Where, what do you, what do you want to try to do? Like how many of them are there? Uh, you would see right now that there's four of them, uh, kind of, uh, kind of trying to block off the, the, the roadway, but they're yelling and uh, you're trying to wave more people towards you. We don't have time for this. Bane's wrath is upon us. He's ter he's building is crumbling up, up on top of us. Let's go. Can we try the old, oh no, look out for falling rocks, and then take off running? Uh, you can certainly try to do that. Um, I yeah. I'll build on what Gabe just yelled and be like, the wall is falling, and point, and then try to take off. All right, roll me a persuasion check. They hear your bellowing and they all turn around and they're like, it's what the wall is coming. And then you guys take off and you start, uh, which direction do you run off in? Uh, which is, so the nearest gates, the one up to the north, the, or the way we came in uh, through the north channel. Yeah, that is, you guys plan came in. The plan was going. Sorry, what? This is why we, we scouted the wall out because remember, the, I was trying to come up with an escape plan. The wall, like just scaling the wall and get. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so. Um, why does like the street here? Yeah, so they were. Yeah, if you look here, I mean, the way I envision it, you know, the right here would be the front entrance of the temple or where the temple once was. And there would have been four guards kind of around, you know, trying to spread out this way across this particular roadway. But if you're trying to belt off that that direction, I mean, hey, that's that's cool. Um, Y'all just let me know. Is there some is there the, are they all just rank and file or is there like a sergeant or officer with them? Uh, no, they're rank and file at the moment. But they did kind of raise the alarm. So you hear the, you know, the alarms around you are starting to raise, uh, you know, the horns are blowing. So there's, there is activity uh, as, you know, it, I would not be surprised if blades and or cloaks start to show up here soon. Okay, well, I'm going, Raz is going to look at the person nearest to him. Like if there's a soldier who happens to be a little bit closer and he's going to cast yeah. suggestion. And he's going to see, he's going to point at Doug and say, I suggest you guys, you know, apprehend that traitor. Now, he's not casting on Doug. He's casting on one of the guards to tell him. Which is still fine. He rolled a, a six. There's no way they're going to. Yeah, no, no, they, no, that's all right. So that is all right. So they get that. Um, it's just one yes. of the guards. You can't do it on multiple. Right. So, and so the guy's like, "Forget the wall. I've got to go get this guy. You guys call the, call everybody else and get him here." And this guy starts to, you know, approach Doug, at who's looking at him. He's like, just completely surprised. Get away from me. Those are the guys. And he starts to pull his weapon on the guy. You know, he pulls his battle axe and he's starting to uh, engage with that particular city guard. Um, so you guys are starting to run off. Which uh, which direction were you running again? Towards the nearest wall segment, which I guess is sort of west southwest. Okay. All right. So you're going to end up 
Um, you're going to end up running through the other the, kind of the wall of guards as they're distracted. You're trying to blow past them. Um, so as you're running towards them, the wall is, you know, you know, you've got this good open area in front of you. Um, and as the wall is up in front of you, you start seeing uh, the watch along the top of the wall uh, starting to uh, draw beads up on, uh, on you. Um, and <clears throat> other guards um, and people in general are kind of corralling around you. So you, you, you notice there's a lot of attention being drawn on you. So what's what's next? A place we can try to duck out of sight while we're running like an duck down an alleyway. Is that before? You, okay, so you're going to try to hide any, any place we can, any place we can get out of line of sight long enough to. Okay. I don't know how far ahead or behind we are of the guards. All right, so I'm going to. In this area, at you know the guards were there. They were looking towards the wall, so you guys would be running from behind them to in front of them, so they would see where you are coming from that way. But there are this this little area right here. You could try to uh, gain some cover there um, from the watchmen on the wall, but that still leaves you with the guards that are behind you. There would be at least three of them there, and more converging on this area. Guys, I say we just make it straight for the wall then. Sounds good to me. Okay, so give how, me... how how close together are the guards? Uh, they were they were spread out. Um, so if there was four of them that going across that walkway, that that alley, that roadway, and that roadway is going to be about what 20, 30 feet across. So they are not close. So so thirty foot one twenty. Five foot wide road, you're saying, and they're spread out in kinda all directions. Yeah, kind of equidistantly. So, all right. So, if you're you're making a beeline towards it, uh, give me an a uh, athletics check. Well, as we get to the closest point to them, you know, like to where we're, we're to the we're the nearest that we're going to be to the guards. Raz is going to pull out the old pipes. <laughs> okay. You want athletics? This per character or one? No, it's it's is by one. So, um, whoever's leading the charge. It's probably going to be uh, Thongrim then. Thongrim or Siona. Which one is it again? Athletics. Athletics. Four character sheets up right now. Oh, welcome to my world. Okay, so you guys make a you know straight, and you make it across that, and you make it to the wall in in record time. Um, so you're you're sitting there, um, and the guards are yelling. There's more people coming. You start seeing some cloaked individuals uh, rounding the corner uh, the five of you are huddled up against the wall uh you know raz and you know, raz eldon siona quinn and thongram um you're uh you know there's there are a few crates here and there but there are no uh, where you are on this wall there's no stairs or anything the wall is behind you or i guess right in front of you it's about 20 feet tall um a mage yeah. hand with a rope can't take care of okay i bought a grappling hook so ever so long ago <laughs> all right so you want to do that yep i'm going to pull the rope out mage hand it up get it latched on and i guess i'll climb to the top first Okay, so uh, give me uh, uh, give me an acrobatics check, and eight. 
and all right so quinn um as as you're climbing as um well shit yeah wow so as as everybody's climbing up the uh, arrows are starting to fly back and forth uh and quinn ends up getting struck by one of the uh one of the arrows and takes six damage um uh, everybody else has managed to um uh, evade what the fire uh, what fire is there so you guys are clamoring up on top of the wall um and for your that uh, so you're up there and you are now uh being there are two guards coming in from either side of you. The five of you are on top of the wall. You see freedom out to your west if you can make it off that way. Um, How far away are the guards? Uh, they're within like 15, 10, you know, they're, they're running, to, you know, trying to sandwich you. They're flanking you this way. Uh, Eldon and Quinn both uh, would get, you know, would notice um, that, you know, as they're paying attention to the, or they have the cloaks down on the ground are starting to uh, do an incantation that they, uh, they, they sense uh, that some, some spells are about to be cast. Um, um, and, you know, it's so shit's about to get bad. Okay. Like, now, who said that? Eldon and, and Quinn. Quinn. Yes. Okay. The shit that started yeah. all this. I know the shit that started all this. <laughs> okay. Good bookend there. <laughs> all right. Um, so, you've got that. Um, how do you deal with the... Uh, uh, the, 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 um, everybody that's on top of the wall. So I, I, since you said I noticed the guys down below that are starting to, to prepare to cast, I'm going to cast silence over the top of all of them. Okay. Uh, which means they're going to have to move. Um, just to, just to at least all right. throw a, of a wrench into there. Very there good. Is. Corin will look to one of them at least since they're coming from opposite directions. <laughs> okay. Um, and that is So that's going the way we're not we're gonna are we gonna run are we running along the wall or are we scaling down the other side? I figure we scaled down the side and get the hell out of here. Yeah, y'all haven't told me what you're doing yet. Um All right, more so, guards on top. Yeah, so the guards that have you know, that are coming in from uh, core inside are all just getting entangled inside of this web. Uh, none of them succeeded in uh, in any of the, on their their saving throws to kind of make it out of it. So they are, you know, contending with all of the, this twenty foot thing of, of web webbing here. All right, so. And there's some coming from the other direction. Yeah, there were some coming from the north. If you guys, if you guys are here, there were some coming from the south. There were some coming from the north, and there were some people down here, the spellcasters uh, who are currently in, inside of a silence circle. So Thongram, what would you do? Um. Just run, I suppose. Run at full speed, screaming, it's 10 o'clock and I have to go to work in the morning. All right. Roll me an intimidation check for work. <laughs> All right. They are, scared to ha they are scared to death of work in the morning. And you guys jump off the wall and each take four damage as you land superhero pose down that thing and you start having to probably carry Quinn who's probably broken every bone in his body um, and you start running off to the west uh, off into uh, off into the wilderness uh, carry Quinn we'll just cast summon a horse and the horse can carry Quinn 
Oh, even better. Okay, so on this horse, uh, your if you uh, whatever war ho a war horse, even better. So you could have multiple people on there. Um, you guys are uh, off into the wilderness, and if uh, Siona would roll me a nature check. nature yeah survival survival shit i get that uh yeah survival all right you guys managed to lose yourself into into the wilderness um uh, evading the cover uh evading the, the guards uh and the the watch from mo master so you guys have successfully escaped mo master after destroying the uh, the temple and the <laughs> keeping Bane from coming back into this. You don't exactly know what has happened to the church. Uh, uh, all you know is that uh, looks like the scroll has been, the scroll case has been destroyed. It appears the scroll has disintegrated and that you had sent Bane back to wherever for whence he had came. Um, and you've thoroughly ruined the church's plans. Quinn gains four levels. Quinn gains four levels. He feels an inrush. He feels the quickening within his bones and goes, <gasps> and there you go. I was, was going to call level 10. Um, hey, why not? Y'all, if y'all, you've earned it. This is, this uh, pretty much completes the, the overall quest and campaign that I had had in mind since taking it over from Ash oh so many months ago. Do you measure that like years at this point? Uh, as a matter of fact, I think we are at the two-year anniversary. Pretty close to it. Ash only DM for a few, you know, a month or two. He had ten sessions under his belt. Got a good quarter out of it. Yeah, so we've had we've had a grand total of fifty-seven sessions, um, including this one, uh, over the span of two years. Not too bad, um, you know. Um, not terrible for a first time, uh, uh, first time homebrew campaign. At least for this this. We'll call it chapter, book, whatever that we have done. Um, any any epilogues? Anything? Uh, what would your what what your characters do? Would uh, Thongram go back to uh, to Aldenburg, uh, back to his uh, abode there? I suppose so. If if the bloodbath and gun can't be saved, I mean, if this town is basically rotten to the core, I don't know if I would stay in. Help I don't overthrow the last of the of the it. regime here, or what? The last of they're they're all still there. Well, but now they have no god and no real leader, so I don't know. Yeah, uh, uh, Gildal I'd did. Think, I'd have to think about it. Yeah, Gildal did fall, so the the high priestess of the of the church, um, and this was directly due to the silence spell because uh, the. The intended being was not where it was supposed to be, so the spell focused on the caster, which was Gildal. So, thanks to Eldon and his quick wittedness, he is the one who technically took down the head of the church because it was supposed to be Doug. Which is good because she almost killed us the first time we met her. So, if she was there, we'd have all been dead. Fireball from the first, the one time we fought her. Yeah. So. Killed, killed by a silence spell. <laughs> yeah, so stuck up on her. Yeah, congrats. <laughs> you never see it coming. Um, so yeah, that happened. You guys managed to somehow to pick up Quinn through all of this. Um, you do. You did lose Zatos. I know y'all were sad to see him go, um, but surprisingly picked up everybody else in the thing. They were all supposed to die. You saved them. Good job. Best outcome. Two of them did die. We just undid one of them. Yes. Well, 
one of them. Yeah. Uh, hey, but don't don't take that in. Say so. Um, as you guys go off into the wilderness, uh, you kind of evade things, and now now you're kind of in this. You've been on this continent for several months now, and still don't really know what the hell's going on. You all you know is that you are off in the northern part of the continent. And thinking back fondly to the time that you landed on the beach here after escaping through the tempest storm away from the island of Ecleros, you think kindly back to not or not so kindly to the Red Flames Tower and go, why the hell did I even decide to do this? Quinn's like, I shouldn't have stole the scroll. That was a terrible idea in hindsight. He apologizes to you both. No hard feelings, I hope. But thanks for coming to get me. Yes, uh, yes, that's exactly what we were doing. <laughs> ah, so you'll have to tell me the story about how you got to here, because I'd like to know how you found me. Um, but that's a tale for another time. Um, so there we go. Um, anything else from your character's perspective or anything? I know we're running late, so but I wanted to see wanted to open it up one last time. I think Horn just runs off in the hiding somewhere and then tries to use all that gold he's still got as a, to live a nice life of luxury. Far away from this part of the world. All the gold was probably in the uh, either taken off you when you were in jail or in the bag of holding so you're probably broke. I have, I have all, my, all my equipment but yeah I only have a I guess a few tens of gold. So he goes back to just have a cram, I guess. Gets a trip to Aldenburg and then decide from there, I'm probably going to try and get back to home, I guess. If, if there's a way back. Well, maybe one day we'll find out. Maybe. All right. Well... So the group is kind of, sounds like they're kind of parting ways a little bit, or I, I think it's Quinn... lie low for a little while at least. Yeah. I think Quinn would probably, you know, maybe try to find, go back to some semblance of familiarity, maybe trying to find whatever happened at Landfall uh, some months ago um, with Captain, Captain Evil, Evil, whatever her name was. Um, see how the town is. Um, we'll see. All right. Eldon will probably also seek out another Mastiff and name it Orin Trey. Orin the third. And call oh. him Trey. <clears throat> I like it. All righty. Well, then I guess that's I guess that's all she wrote for this one.